Case Statware is a suite of state-of-the-art market timing studies that help traders fine-tune entries and exits and manage trade risk. The Case Statware studies were developed by award-winning market technician Cynthia Case, president of Case & Company. The algorithms are based upon rigorous mathematical and statistical principles and are thus probability-driven. The algorithms are also designed to automatically optimize themselves, thus eliminating the need to change settings. Timing trades is easy with Case Statware. Its color-coded signals evaluate momentum, bar patterns, multiple time frames, and more. The Case Statware suite is made up of several studies. However, the four core studies that we will focus on are the Case Easy Entry System, K Dev Stops, Case PO, and KCD. The other studies are either built into the core studies or used as a utility for deeper analysis. The Case Easy Entry System, or KEYS for short, is used to enter trades by examining several momentum indicators, a longer time frame filter, swing highs and lows, and bar structures. Color-coded dots show each bar's underlying momentum permissions. L and S signals show warning and potential long and short entry points. Warning signals are shown by green L's and orange S's. Warning signals let a trader know that a turn may be taking place and that they should be prepared to possibly enter a trade. Entry signals are automatically filtered by a longer time frame. Filtered signals, which are called first class signals, are generally stronger than unfiltered signals, which are called second class signals. First class long permissions and signals are shown with blue dots and L's. Second class long permissions and signals are shown with light blue dots and L's. First class short permissions and signals are shown with pink dots and S's. Finally, second class short permissions and signals are shown with red dots and S's. To enter a trade, a trader would wait for a green warning L, a pullback that holds the prior swing low, and then a confirming first or second class L. Upon the confirming signal, the long trade may be taken. A short trade is triggered when there is an orange warning S, a pullback that holds the prior swing high, and then a confirming first or second class S. Once a trade is taken, it is recommended that a trader place a stop using the K dev stops indicator. The case dev stops are based upon standard deviations of average true range. These statistically significant levels automatically adjust with volatility and will widen when volatility increases and narrow when volatility decreases. This allows for profits to run and for losses to be cut in a timely manner. There are four stop levels, the warning line, dev one, dev two, and Dev3. By default, when a trade is entered, a stop is placed at Dev3. Dev2 is used when a trade is taken against the prevailing trend or when there are warning signals shown by the case PO and or the KCD. Dev1 is used when there are warning signals or when partial profit has been taken due to KCD and or case PO momentum signals. The case PO and KCD are used to exit trades. These are studies that use a variable, self-optimizing look-back length to gauge momentum. There are two types of momentum signals that these studies automatically identify, overbought and oversold signals, and momentum divergence. The most powerful signals are divergences. These are identified with green trend lines for the case PO and red trend lines for the KCD. Solid lines are strong divergence signals and dashed lines are weak. The case PO overbought oversold signals are called peakouts and are identified by green or gray P's. The green P's are strong signals and the gray are weak. The KCD overbought oversold signals are called KCD peaks and are identified by red or gray K's. The red K's are strong signals and the gray are weak. When a strong divergence forms, it is usually recommended that 80% of a trade's profit be taken and a stop placed at Dev1 for the remaining 20%. When strong peakouts or KCD peaks form, 50 to 80% of a trade's profit may be taken and a stop placed at Dev1 for the remaining 20%. At minimum, the stop should be tightened to Dev1. Weak signals indicate a turn may take place, but other factors dampen the likelihood that the turn will be significant or take place at all. Therefore, usually, when these signals form, it is recommended that stops be tightened to at least Dev2 and possibly Dev1.
To recap, Case Statware is a suite of state-of-the-art market timing studies that help traders fine-tune entries and exits and manage trade risk. The algorithms automatically optimize themselves, which eliminates the need to change settings or optimize variables. The color-coded signals make it easy to time entries and exits. The optimal stops balance risk while letting profits run and cutting losses. The analysis of multiple time frames helps to filter signals for accuracy and timeliness. And the rigorous statistical and mathematical nature of the indicators themselves make them probability driven. Case Statware works with all liquid stocks, commodities, futures, indices, fixed income, and forex. Pretty much anything you can plot on a chart.